Hi guys! It's me, Primo, and welcome back to my channel. For today, we're just going to take it chill because it's my first time filming my bullet journal. As you can see, I have with me my brand new Limelight journal that I bought from the National Bookstore for around 220 pesos. It has 100 leaves and also has a 120 GSM. It has an elastic band, a back pocket, gridded pages, and of course, a white ribbon bookmark. I'm just using this other notebook so that I can lay it flat because the notebook that I bought won't lay flat on the table surface. As you can see, I'm showing you the sticker that I printed through my paper rang, which I'm going to show you you later on how to print stickers using this device i bought this device two years ago at shopee and then when i did i downloaded the app from the google play store it's called paper rang and then i just connected through bluetooth by scanning the qr code that comes with the package of the device and now I'm printing so as you can see I can choose any photo from the internet and print but take note that this will not print colored photos but only will print black and white photos so I chose this adventure is out there I'm going to use that later I'm showing you my 2019 planner because this is actually the first time that I bullet journaled as you can see, I used this paper rang as well to print those photos, but they faded, so I didn't choose to use them this time. I'm just flipping through my months. As you can see, um, I didn't finish everything because I got the pressure, the pressure of being able to produce wonderful, beautiful work. Because the bullet journal company, uh, community rather, really have good artists that I felt na I cannot do that. So yeah. Anyway, right now I found that the reason for me to bullet journal is not just for art, but it's actually to plan out my life, to make it useful, not just for aesthetics. So that's my plan for this year. And I actually want to squeeze out my creative juices from all the brain cells inside my brain. You know, it's a waste if I don't use them. So, yeah, I hope that I will be able to finish my bullet journal this year. And really improve my art and also my content, right, uh, content writing, content creation. Yeah. So for the next page, I'm just going to make a flap for my key. This will serve as my basis whenever I write a new task or a new entry to the bullet journal or to my weeklies or daily logs. So as you can see, I'm just writing the symbols labels and then adding stickers that I printed two years ago and it's really fun that I'm able to use them now just adding some stars dots just to complete that space field on to the next page I am writing down numbers that will serve as the grid space count this will be my grid spacing cheat sheet where I can always look back so that I don't have to keep on counting every single page. It's one of the most useful tools that bullet journalers or bullet journal artists have been using and I've been seeing them often on Instagram pages and YouTube channels as well. The only problem that I had with my grid spacing cheat sheet was that I use this stamp that is big. It produced big circles, which made my grid cheat sheet dirty. Yeah, but I didn't want to remove it because it will make it dirtier. So I just let it be. 
hopefully in the next year I'll do a better job <laughs> Now I'm going to stick the key flap that I did a while ago using a glue stick and then stick the cover page and the grid cheat sheet page together to make it into one whole page. Then the next part is I'm writing down 2021 in bold font and adding drop shadow. Then just sticking on these cute stickers that is not mine <laughs> it's my sister's but we share our stationery so I think that's fine so I'm just doodling over the stickers writing some rays mimicking clouds in the sun then adding some washi tapes and of course more space stickers Next page is my year at a glance or my overall calendar. I did not choose to make a year of the glance and future log separately because I felt that it's a waste of time <laughs> and that it's tedious. So with my future log, uh, this is where I put all of the months and all of the num and number the days so my hand really hurt in this process because I realized I didn't write for so long and as you can see I had to change my pen midway because my other pen died <laughs> after writing all of the dates I just added some lines in between but of course that is after adding the months as I was saying a while ago I added these lines so that there would be separation between the lines lines and the months and since I wanted to practice what Amanda Rich has been doing her free hand drawn lines straight lines so yeah I'm trying to do that guys hopefully I will be doing a better job at the end of the year <laughs> So I'm just writing here at a glance using my Faber Castell brush pen then adding some bold lines, some washi tapes and more space stickers and also drawing in some stars and dots. I really like how this, page, this whole spread turned out. It's simple and cute and nice to look at all together. Next spread would be my YouTube and Instagram milestones tracker. I wanted this year to be more productive than ever. And I really want to vamp up my content creation skills. That's why I wanted to challenge myself and through these trackers I think that I will be able to do so. So it's funny how I made a mistake in drawing that Instagram logo. So because of that mistake I chose to cover it up with my Crayola super tips and then write over it and draw or draw over it rather using my white gel pen and it actually turned out cute and I really like it. After drawing these logos, I'm just going to finish up the box and then draw in the boxes that would be filled in in the future. I 
I really found this part therapeutical or more like satisfying as well because dra- drawing those boxes is like whoa <laughs> that's how I felt that's really how I felt especially that I was drawing them freehand without the ruler really made me feel satisfied with what as I was doing and on the other side of the spread I just wrote YouTube and Instagram because these will be my idea dump boxes I made a mistake because one I leaned in too near to the notebook so you would see my scalp and I also miscalculated the number of letters that I was going to write so it wasn't at the center and also that line beside that YouTube word bothered me a lot <laughs> that's okay so now I'm writing the milestones word because I forgot it to write a while ago and after that I'm just going to add drop shadow to the boxes and we'll be going to the next spread On to the next spread, this will be my January cover. As you can see, I'm writing January with my brush pen again. And I regretted doing this part. Yes, I went over it for a second layer and I realized that I shouldn't have done so because it will result to ghosting. So ghosting is when the ink is seen on the other side of the page so yeah keep that in mind guys if you want to buy this kind of notebook this will ghost at some point so i'm just adding more stickers more wash tapes and the difference with my january cover and my 2021 cover was that this one i actually connected the stickers with broken lights which really turned out really cute. We'll see it later. Right now, I'm going to stick on my Adventures Out There sticker. And just to remind me that life is an adventure. And yeah, it's out there. But we can't go out literally. But we can still have an adventure with our family, friends, even on the internet, um, watching movies, playing games weekly check-ins and so much more i hope that you still enjoy your stay at home so moving on to the next page i am going to plot out my monthly log and right now i'm just plotting the numbers of grids that i needed for drawing my calendar See, I'm really trying my best to hands-free draw. No, it's not hands-free, it's freehand. Okay, so sorry. Yeah, it's freehand drawing those lines. And I really like how it turned out because they're not super straight. Um, there's a hint of imperfection and it makes it look human <laughs> yeah so that's why I like this so much so I'm just adding those black lines for the daily labels like Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday then afterwards I'm going to write in the dates per box and I just realized that 31st of January falls on the first week of February and that's a Sunday and I don't have a sixth row so I just opted to move the 31st the first box on top (laughs) 
after that, I decided to move on to the side where I just plotted my boxes for my songs that I love this month corner. It would be filled up with five songs at the end of the month and I just added more stickers and more broken lights. And of course, wash it there. This will be the last spread and this is my weekly slash daily logs. This is where I'm going to put all of my tasks that are day specific. And as you can see, I just opted for a one page for all of the days because I'm not really that busy at the moment. I'm still looking for a job. And so I just thought that it would be space efficient for me to do this. Since I'm just going to plot in the last week of January as well, so might as well save up space. After writing down the dates, I sticked a sticker that I bought from Jess and Pat's. It's a restaurant in Maginhawa. It's where the Ridley's play most of the time. <laughs> I love the Ridley's. Shout out to the Ridley's. I love you guys. And um, I chose this lyrics from A Million Little Things by Shire Brown and Busking. It's um, it's written there that there are a million little things I want to tell you. Well, because it's the time of the year. <laughs> um, it's my mom's second year in heaven, so there are so many things I want to tell her. That's why I just place it there for the feels. So the other page would be my habits, my sleep, and my mood trackers because this is also one of my goals for this bullet journal actually for this year is to be able to track all of my emotions, my mood um, would they be correlated to the amount of sleep that I get or how much habits I am able to do every day so I just wanted to process everything since I came out from many experiences this year <laughs> and yeah technically um, honestly speaking I went through therapy this year and it really helped that's why I wanted to do this to track these things so that I can process myself more and understand myself more and that is the main reason why I added this this week I felt corner just to remind me that I have to process my thoughts and how I felt for that week um, I'm adding more washi tapes and stickers and that will be the end of my setup so here is the final flip through of my setup my cover photo my cover page rather my grid cheat sheet my key my 2021 cover page here at a glance I actually really liked my favorite part here is the January cover photo cover page how many times did I say cover photo <laughs> anyway beside the cover page of January would be my memories page wherein I'm going to add photos of the month or whatever happened that month so that's it guys that's my first bullet journal setup. I hope that you liked it. And if you did, then please click on the thumbs up. Also, leave your comments and suggestions for themes and other spreads that might be useful for me. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell down below so that you will be notified if I have a new video. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!